Hello, Nancy. Hello, Hugo. Hello, Lorena. How are you? Hello, Morena. Hello, Lorena. Hello, Nancy. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Hello, Hugo. Welcome. Hello, welcome, Lorena. Good evening, Thank teacher. You, teacher. Hi, teacher. Hi, how are you? Welcome back. Welcome back. How are you doing today, guys? Ready for the class, teacher. Excellent. How was your day? Excellent. Fine. What did you do today? What did you do today? The chair. Yes. Today, today the weather it was very hot. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. it was. It was all day. And then right now it looks like it's going to rain. Mm -hmm. yes. It's it's weird, like cold, hot, hot, cold. It's a crazy world we're living in. For season in first time yes do you think it's going to continue raining yes later i, I hope not <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's too much uh, how are you morena how was your day fine teacher how are you i'm very <laughs> good stuff? I'm doing very good, ready, ready. I had a good afternoon working and in the morning I was teaching. So I have had a busy, busy day. Very easy. For me, it's easy. For me, it's easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> All right, excellent, Morena. Uh, who can tell me what information do you remember from yesterday's class? What information do you remember about yesterday's class? Statement some, some with the past of B. Okay, the past of the B verb. Can you give me an example, Morena, using the past of be verb? I, 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 was, was it, were, weren't. Okay. Para responder. Uh-huh. Or you can say, for example, I was working. Mm -hmm. I was working. Uh -huh. You were studying English. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. All right. All right. That's good. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you. Ana Cecilia, what do you remember from yesterday's class? I remember uh, activity vocabulary and, for example, uh, a movie, a new people, old friend, a picture, and match uh, the vocabulary with verb. Summer activities, like Hugo Navarro said. Summer activities, or was that Eduardo Navarro? I can't remember. No funciona. That is correct. Si funciona, si la escuchamos. <laughs> oh, yeah. Gracias. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> okay, let me have uh, Rene. What do you remember from yesterday's class? Mm, what? ¿Cuál René? <laughs> René Candray. Uh, ok. We... We did see the was and where. Was and um, where. Can you give me an example using was and where? For example, I was born in San Marcos. Mm -hmm. My family... 
were from San Juan de Pesontes. Mm -hmm. mm. Another, another. I was working. Mm -hmm. You were uh -huh. studying English. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh -huh. I was. I was staying in English class, mm -hmm. and today I was on my in my work. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Um, only one. <laughs> okay, only now one. that's good. Now what we are going to do is we're going to be looking at statements with the past of the be verb. Statements with the past of the be verb. Who can tell me what is the past of the be verb? What is the past of the be verb? Was it word? Was it word? Okay. Finally, we okay, we're on. going to review. We are going to review. Hi everyone. In this class, you can everybody hear? Positive. And negative Can everybody hear? Using the past. Yes, yes, yes. We'll yes. Practice, which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, I was born in Korea. Let's listen and practice. I was born in Korea. <laughs> Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh. So you weren't born in the U.S.? No, I came here in 1999. Hmm, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good, so I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks, your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here. Let's take a look at the statements on this chart now. Statements with the past of B. I was born in Korea. I wasn't born in the U.S. You were pretty young. You weren't very old. She was 17. She wasn't in college. We were born in the same year. We weren't born in the same country. They were in Korea in 1998. They weren't in the U.S. in 1998. Contractions. Wasn't equals was not. Weren't equals were not. We can follow this formula to form positive statements in the past with be. Subject plus was or where plus complement. We need to remember the following. For the pronouns you, we, and they, we will use where. And for the pronouns I, he, she, and it, we will use was. Now let's analyze a couple of examples. I was born in Korea. First we need to add a subject, I. Then we will use the verb to be in the past, was. Finally we will include a complement, born in Korea. Let's do one more example. We were born in the same year. First, we need to add a subject, we. Then we will use the verb to be in the past, where. Finally, we will include a complement, born in the same year. Now, let's talk about making negative statements in the past with be. We can follow this formula to form negative statements in the past with be. 
subject plus wasn't or weren't plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of negative examples. I wasn't born in the US. First, we need to add a subject, I. Then we will use the verb to be in the past in its negative form, wasn't. I would like to point out that this is the same as saying was not, but we will typically use contractions. Finally, we include a complement, born in the US. Let's analyze one more example. They weren't in the US in 1998. First, we need to add the subject they. Then we'll use the verb to be in the past in its negative form, weren't. I would like to point out that this is the same as saying were not. But we will typically use contractions. Finally, we include a complement. And the US in 1998. Now it's your turn to practice making positive and negative statements in the past with be about yourself, friends, and family. After you finish this activity, share your work. In right. The discussion. Did everybody finish this activity yesterday? Did everybody finish this activity yesterday? Yes, no teacher. Okay, if you didn't finish, that is your homework. Today, we are going to be looking at Knowledge Check 5.2. At the correct, add the correct form of the verb was, were, wasn't, weren't to complete the conversation. My family and I was. Oh, yeah. all uh, born in South Korea. What is your answer? Were. 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 All right. I would like for you to work in pairs and complete this activity, and then we will check. Ready? Let's go. Hola, Roxana. Hi, how are you? Hi. How are you? Hi. Ay, qué bueno. <laughs> ya, ya hizo este, esta tarea. Yo sí, ya la hice. Sí. Ah, vaya, yo también. Entonces, si gusta, comparte su pantalla. ¿Usted ya las hizo? Sí, también. Sí. Entonces, ah, leámoslas. Hola Lorena, ¿cómo está? Ajá, muy bien, gracias. Qué bueno. Si gusta, las, le las leemos, una cada de acuerdo, una. De acuerdo, uh -huh. usted va a compartir la pantalla. Sí. De acuerdo. Uh -huh. La puede ver. Sí, gracias, sí. gracias. Bueno. Vale, pues, la primera es. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Empiezo. Empieza usted. Sí. Bueno. Vale. Bueno, my family and I were are born in South Korea. 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 Uh -huh. Ok. We were not or we weren't born in the U.S. Ahora Roxana, ¿verdad? Yes. Permita. Ajá. Es que me sacó la plataforma, no sé por qué. Ah. Que está bien, mal el Ay. Quiero ver la tercera. Perdón. Yes. I was born in the city of in 
Incheon, Incheon, no sé cómo se, se dirá. And my brother was born there too. Okay. My parents were not or weren't born in Incheon. They were born in the capital Seoul. Mm -hmm. Sigue Roxana. Yo. Mm -hmm. En cuál iba? En la última. A ah, la última. En in South Korea, my father was a business business businessman and my mother was a teacher okay okay hoy comience que comience Roxana vaya vaya de acuerdo que alguien sabe que es inyección a una ciudad ¿Qué, qué, ¿Qué habían puesto una, ahí? Una ciudad es... Were not. Era where, weren't. Weren't o were not. Yo escribí así con el contractado, weren't, y me lo ponía malo, entonces por eso escribí were not. Uh -huh. No sé si les pasó igual. Sí, es que a veces da problema el, el apóstrofe, uh -huh. porque a veces por eso es que este, dependiendo de con cuál apóstrofe uno lo haga, a veces lo pone bien o a veces lo pone mal. Sí, ya se me ha presentado esa dificultad. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Bueno. Bye. Este, bye. Seguimos bye. entonces. My family. Bye. My family and I were all born in South Korea. All right, let me have the first one, Jacqueline Castro. Number two, Jacqueline Castro, I want you to do this one. Jacqueline Castro, let's go. All right, thank you, Mayra, let's go. I can't hear you, Mayra. Your microphone is on silence. Sorry, teacher. We weren't born in the U.S. We weren't born in the U.S. Perfect. The next one, Arnoldo. Okay. I was born in, in the city of Ipchem, Inchem, and my brother was born there too. Perfect. Continue, Roxana Sanchez. My parents weren't born in Incheon. Excellent. Continue, Lorena. They. They were born in the capital, so. Perfect. Continue, please. Morena, the last one. Ay, teacher, es que no sé qué hice con la compu, que no puedo ver su pantalla. Ah, ok. Vamos a ver ahora. ¿Y ahora? Mm, ahora sí. Okay. ¿Cuál era, teacher? No. Uh, the last one. This one right here. Ah, ok. In South Korea, my father was a businessman and my mother was a teacher. Perfect. Excellent work, ladies and gentlemen. Excellent work. Now, do you have any questions referring to these sentences? Or our vocabulary? One, one question. La pronunciación de business. 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 Everybody repeat. Businessman. 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 Correct. 
Another question. Another question. In Cheon, teacher. Seoul. Seoul. In Cheon. In Cheon. Es una ciudad. Okay. Let's move forward. 5.3. We're going to be looking at this section over here. 5.3. Listen, please. By the end of this class, you will learn how to ask and answer questions with the past tense of the brief. Additionally, you will also learn how to express years. Al final de esta clase, ustedes aprenderán a formular y responder preguntas con el pasado del verbo ser. Además, también aprenderán la, a expresar los años. Any questions? Listen, please. Are you ready? Please take notes. You got this. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to ask and answer questions with the past of the. Additionally, you'll also learn how to express years. Let's get started by analyzing the questions that you see on this chart. Questions with the past of B. Were you born in the U.S.? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Was your brother born in 1984? Yes, he was. No, he wasn't. Were your parents born in Incheon? Yes, they were. No, they weren't. Where were you born? I was born in Korea. When was he born? He was born in 1985. What city were they born in? They were born in Seoul. Years. 1906. 1917. 1999. 2001. To form questions with the past of B, we can follow this formula. WH word plus was or where plus subject plus complement. Let me point out that whenever we make yes or no questions, there won't be a WH word. Let's analyze a couple of examples. Were you born in the US? In this case, this is a yes or no question, so we don't add a WH word. The first thing we do is add the verb to be in the past, where. Next, we need to include the subject, you. Finally, we need to add the complement and a question mark at the end. Born in the US. To answer this type of question, we can answer positively by saying, yes, I was. Or negatively by saying, no, I wasn't. Let's analyze one last example. Where were you born? In this case, this is a WH question, so we need to add a WH word. The first thing we need to do is to add a WH word. Next, we need to include the verb to be in the past, where. After that, we need to add the subject, you. Finally, we need to add a complement and a question mark born. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to practice making questions about place of origin and birthdays, similar to the examples on the chart. After you work, let's analyze it. Okay. So for this activity, you are going to write at least seven questions using was and were, when, and what, and where. So you're going to write questions with 
where, a donde, when, cuando, what, using were, en pregunta, y was, en pregunta. You're going to give me seven examples, and I want you to write them here in the discussion forum. Where were you born? I was born in San Salvador. When were you born? I was born on December 22nd. Perfect. Seven examples. Any questions? Any questions? No, teacher. Okay, vamos a cambiar de grupos. Grupos nuevos. Ready? Let's go. Good evening. Good evening, Lorena. Hey, mom, Lorena. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Good evening everyone. Yeah, okay. Yo, algunos. Pero quiere con las answer quiere el teacher también, ¿verdad? Las respuestas. Pregunta y respuesta. Bueno, a mí donde me quedó where were you born? Eh, sería dónde, ¿verdad? Tú naciste. I was born in El Salvador will be the answer. Okay. Where where do you grow up grow up grow, grow up? Como dijo? Mm, where no 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 la estoy haciendo mal. No. Where ah, estoy inventando ahorita. <laughs> Pero es que está relacionado con el... La primera la hice parecida a la suya. I was born uh -huh. in El Salvador. La segunda la dice, you were pretty sad. ¿Cómo? ¿Cómo? You were pretty no. sad. Tiene que, tiene que comenzar la, la question con la doble H. Con where, con what, o con when. O sin las doble H. Con where o con was, after subject. Where you, were they, were we, or was I, was he, was she? Mm -hmm. Sí, no, sí, pero es que esta no es la... No, yo me confundí con la... Um, ¿Cómo se llama? Where, where did... Con la doble H. No, no did... ajá. No sé qué la puede bueno, hacer. No, la, la siguiente es la que yo he hecho. ¿Cómo le quedó? No, o sea, la, no, no, la siguiente, la siguiente clase. Ah, oh. ya va adelantado usted. Sí, no, no trabajé esto. Oh. Uh -huh. ¿Y usted, Eduardo, ya hizo alguna? Entonces podríamos considerar este, por decir... Sí, pero digamos que voy a tomar estos mismos ejemplos, solo voy a cambiarlo. El, where you pretty sad? 
uh, was she later late? ¿Cómo le quedó? Was she late? Was she? Late. Late. Mm -hmm. Llegaste tarde. Oh. Was she late? Y the answer? Yes, I was. Yes, she was. Mm -hmm. Llegó, estuvo ella tarde. Yes, she was. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Oh, no, she wasn't. Mm -hmm. My other podía ser el when. When was she born? Sería cuando, verdad? Ella nació. Sería she was born. She was born in. Born in, on on qué on? No, in, in. Born in. Born. On y sería el mes, verdad? On December, for example. On December 15. Is everybody finished or do you need more time? More time. More time, teacher. Oh. Solo llevamos tres. Podríamos tomar aquí, what city was she boarding? boarding? Hello, welcome Raquel Santos. What city? Hello, good evening. Good evening. What, what city was she boarding? She board, she boarding. What, city, what city was she boarding? What city was she boarding? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Sí, sí. What, what city was? What city was? She boring. boring. Mm -hmm. The answer sería? Uh, she, she was born in San Salvador. In San Salvador. ¿En qué número de la plataforma están? 5.2 No okay. No, 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 sí 5.3 Thank you Cuatro. Llevamos cuatro. Raquel, una más. Raquel es very good student. Raquel. Mm. Pero, pero que, ¿cuál es la actividad? No veo. Question. Question with using. Tiene que crear. Where it was. Tiene que crear Where was? siete. Uh -huh. Siete preguntas. Using the double H word where, what, and when mm, with the past of B, the past where? using to be. Mm -hmm. Was, where? Podría ser, were your friends living? Como dijo, where? Your friends live in? Donde viven tus amigos, verdad? O, o, o sería, um, respuesta corta, verdad? Were your friends 
live in... Pero ahí está hablando en presente. ¿Dónde viven tus amigos? Where... Uh -huh. Sí, es cierto. Ok. No quiero... Mm. Where your friends eh, was last year in, on vacation? Where, where, where your friends eh, was or went? ¿Dónde fueron tus amigos el año pasado en vacaciones? Where were your friends the last vacation? The last vacation, uh huh. Where your friends? Donde? Mm -hmm. Puede ser. Where? Where? Y se puede. Where? 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 Sí. Where? 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 Sí, como uno va con es el lugar de dónde y el otro es el lugar uh -huh. del del past del to be. Where were Entonces, your friends uh -huh. last year? Where were your friends the last vacation? The answer sería, they were. They were. In qué? Um, Canadian or Toronto. They were. Uh -huh. They were Toronto sería. In the city, Toronto. Toronto. No sería no faltando. Toronto City. Toronto City. Quiero ver. Okay. Toronto They city. were in the Toronto City. Toronto City sería. I don't remember. Mm -hmm. Toronto City. Mm -hmm. Toronto City. Mm -hmm. Like New York City. Mm -hmm. Toronto City. Ok. Otra, otra, otra. Hay tantas opciones, ¿verdad? Y a uno no se le ocurre. Uh -huh. Where, ¿Dónde...? ¿Dónde estudiaste en la universidad? Podría ser. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome. Okay, let me have one volunteer. Please read your examples. Me, teacher. All right, Lorena, please read your examples. Okay, for instance, when was she born? When was she born? The answer will be, she was born on December 15th. Excellent. Perfect. Very good, Lorena. Excellent work. 
Another volunteer. All right, Morena. Thank you, teacher. Yes. Were you born, were you born in Honduras? No, I wasn't. Excellent. Were you born in Honduras? No, I wasn't. Perfect. Thank you, Morena. Another volunteer. Another volunteer. Me, teacher. All right, Raquel Santos. Let me hear your examples. Where was your study in university? I studied in El Salvador University. Very good. That's correct. Uh, okay. you, you don't say where was you study. You can say where, where you study. did you study? Mm. Where did okay. you study the university? Okay. I studied at National University. Where mm, okay. did you study university? Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Another volunteer. Another volunteer. Another volunteer. Yo, teacher. All right. Let me hear your examples, Myra. Where was your brother born? Where was your brother born? He was born in Mexico. He was born in Mexico. Perfect. Mm -hmm. what, who was your best friend in school? Uh -huh. He was my best friend is Rene. Excellent. Who yeah. was your best friend in school? school. My mm -hmm. best friend was Rene. Perfect. Mm -hmm. What were they cook? They were cook breakfast. Ah, okay. Uh, you said, yeah, what were they cooking? They were uh, cooking breakfast. Perfect. Teacher, ahí teníamos una discusión porque este, un compañero decía que esto era en pasado y que cooking no podía ser porque estaba hablando de presente. Eso sería presente continuo. Mm. Ajá, como cuando tú dices, estaba comiendo. I was eating. Estaba okay. estudiando. I was studying. Studying. Estaba leyendo. I was reading. Reading. Okay. Uh -huh. okay teacher. Es Thank past, you. past progressive. Pasado okay. progresivo. Okay. Now we are going to go ahead and look at the following activity. Knowledge check. We're moving forward and we're looking at section 5.5, knowledge check. Here, we are going to select the best answer to the question. For example, if you notice here at the bottom, it says in the first one, where were you born where were you born where were you born the answer her name was yumiko in hiroshima japan she was really friendly i wanted to improve my english I grew up in Tokyo. It was a little scary. What is the best answer? In Hiroshima, Japan. Perfect. In Hiroshima, Japan is perfect. That is correct. Okay. 
now we are going to work in pairs, practice the activity together, read the sentences out loud and practice the pronunciation, and then we are going to check. Hi. Eh, ¿Va a compartir usted la pantalla o la comparto yo? Compártala, por favorcito, please. ¿La mira? No. Sí. ¿Ya? Sí. Gracias. Ok, la primera es Where were you born? Uh -huh. In Hiroshima, Japan. Uh -huh. La segunda es Where did you grow up? Y la respuesta es I grew up in Tokyo. Uh -huh. Who was your first day of school? It was a little scary. No sé cómo se pronuncia eso. Scare. Scary. 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 Mm -hmm. Si quiere leer las otras, Ana Cecilia. La cuatro. La cuatro. Gracias. Her name Who was Yumiko. Who was your first friend in school? Her name was Yumiko. What was she like? She was really friendly. Why did you take this class? I wanted to improve my English. ¿Qué significa eso? Improve, Roxana. Improve. Yo también le iba a preguntar eso. <laughs> Creo que mejorar. Improve. Buscar en el traductor. Improve. Por, por lógica siento yo que ha de ser mejorar o algo así. Mejorar, sí. También tengo duda en friendly, 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 como amigable. Amistoso, ajá, amigable. Sí, amistoso, amistosa. Y es, y es car. Scary, ¿qué es? Como miedo. No me acuerdo de la película. Ah, asustado. Scary. Scary. Fue algo. Aterrador, mm, dice. Fue algo aterrador, algo asustadizo. Asustadizo. ¿Cómo fue tu primer día en, en la escuela? Fue algo aterrador. Ah, ¿Y por qué no lee Roxana? Please. Vaya. Eh, todas. Please, por favor. Where were you born? In Hiroshima, Japan. Where did you grow up? Grow up? I grew up in Tokyo. How was your first day of school? It was a little a little scary. Who was your first friend in school? Her name was Yumiko. What was he he like? Or oh, she like? She was really friendly. Why did you take this class? I wanted uh, to improve my English. Okay, gracias. That's improve, all. improve. ¿Qué significa? Dijimos. In, improve 
Improve. Mejorar. Mejorar. Ah, I want to improve my English. Mejorar mi inglés. Excelente. <risa> Bravo. Bueno. <risa> Volvamos a practicar, a leerla. Comienzo yo, si quiere. Si quiere leer. Ah, léela usted. Vaya. Where were you born? In Hiroshima, Japan. Where did you grow? Up? I grew up in Tokyo. Who was your first day of, of school? I was a little scared. Hey, Lorena, welcome. How are you? Excellent teacher. <laughs> teacher, huh? it's raining. It's yes, raining. Yes, yes. Yes. It's, it's raining a lot. Raining cats and dogs. Yes. Oh, my God. It's terrible. <laughs> I am going to sleep like a baby. I yes. love this weather. When this weather is like this. Fresh. Cold, fresh. Oh my God. I feel like <laughs> I'm going to sleep like a baby. <laughs> For real. Okay. okay. Yeah, really. All right. Let me have one volunteer. Read number two. All right, Myra, read the question and the response. Okay. Where were you born? Is no, Hiroshima? No, 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 no. no. Where, where did you what? grow up? Where did? Did you born? No, no. Where? Ah, sorry. Did Two. you grow up? Okay, sorry, bitch. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Tokyo. I grew up. I grew up. I grew up in Tokyo. Very good, very good. All right, Lorena, number three. Read the question and the response. How was your first day of school? It was a little scary. 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 Yeah. Scary. 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 It was, it was a, a little, little scary. scary. Excellent. Yeah. Scary. Very good. Thank you. Arnoldo, number four. Okay. Number four. Who was your your first friend in school. Her name was Yumiko. Her name was Yumiko, correct. Her name was Yumiko, correct. Okay. okay. The next one, Jacqueline Castro. Hi, teacher. Hello. Hello, teacher. Ah, no sé si me ve. No me veo la cámara, pero creo que sí. Este. Yes. Ah. Uh, is with um I know what uh, what was uh, she like she was uh, or la dos se pronuncia teacher he she yes correct ah well, but those are what happened what was he she like she was really friendly she was really friendly perfect. Roxana Sanchez, number six. Hello. What? Hello. <laughs> what? Why did you take this class? 
uh, I really I wanted to improve my English. Excellent. I wanted to improve my English is correct. Excellent, guys. Now, does anybody have any questions referring to the meaning of these words? Questions about the meaning of these words? Eh, yo tengo una teacher en la número, en la respuesta del número uno, se puede contestar así. O necesariamente tendríamos que poner el they were born in Hiroshima, Japan. Uh, no, 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 no. Usted puede decir in, in San Salvador. Okay. Short answer, San Salvador. Uh -huh. You can respond with a short answer. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Another question. Question. Okay. We're going to be looking at 5.6. By the end of this class, you will learn to sound natural when using negative contraction. Al final de esta clase, aprenderán a sonar natural cuando usas abreviaciones negativas. Listen, please. Please take notes. In this class, you learn Can to everybody hear? When expressing contraction. Let's get Can started everybody by hear? analyzing the contraction. Yes, teacher. Yes. Can you hear? Weren't. Yes, teacher. Weren't. Don't. Can't. Two syllables. Isn't. Wasn't. Doesn't. Didn't. They didn't eat dinner because they weren't hungry. I don't like coffee, and she doesn't like tea. These aren't their swimsuits. They can't swim. He wasn't here yesterday, and he isn't here today. A quick tip to follow when expressing contractions is to extend the N. For example, I can't. They Wearing. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to listen and repeat the contractions until you feel comfortable pronouncing them. All right, we're going to play it one more time. And she we're going to play it like one more tea. time. Hi, everyone. In this class, you learn to sound natural when expressing contractions. Let's get started by analyzing the contractions on this chart. Aren't. Okay, everybody, we're going to analyze the contractions on this chart. Repeat. Aren't. 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 Weren't. 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 Don't. 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 Can't. 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 Isn't. 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 Doesn't. 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 Wasn't. 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 Didn't. 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 Okay. So what, so what you're going to do on this exercise is you're going to read. Va a leer esas palabras y se va a grabar acá en Vocaru. Se va a ir aquí a Google y va a poner Bocaru. Acá. Y se va a grabar. Weren't. Don't. Didn't. Shouldn't. Cuando termine, va a guardarlo. Lo va a copiar. Se va a ir aquí abajo donde dice añade una publicación. Aquí va a poner pronunciation. Y aquí va a pegar la grabación de las palabras. One more time. Aren't. 
Aren't. Aren't. Aren't. Don't. 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 Isn't. 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 Doesn't. 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 Weren't. 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 Can't. 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 Wasn't. 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 Didn't. 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 Okay. All right, guys, time's up. Please continue working on the platform, and I see you tomorrow. 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 Bye. 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 Good evening. Good night. Good night.